Some students in Elk Grove are returning to the classroom this morning for the first time. They haven't been on campus for more than a year. Now you may recall when the pandemic hit last March, the Elk Grove School District was the first to shut down because of COVID. KCRE 3's Leticia Ordaz is live at Arthur Butler Elementary this morning with more on the district's reopening plan. Good morning, Leticia. Good morning, Tony and Ty. What a heartwarming scene here at Butler Elementary School. We just saw some students running up with their backpacks. So excited they actually started doing the happy dance. They are here about 45 minutes early, obviously anxious for school to begin this morning. According to school officials, there are likely going to be a lot of tears of joy today. Eight year round schools will welcome back TK through third grade students for the first time since the pandemic started. It won't be a full day. Students are supposed to arrive at 745 this morning and we'll have a short day dismissal for the younger students will happen at 10 this morning and grade second through third will go home at noon. Parents are given the option to stick with distance learning, but the district says many chose to return to in person learning. Superintendent Christopher Hoffman released this statement at case area three. It reads the reopening of our schools will be an emotional day for all of us as we see the little feet and hear the sounds of our youngest learners returning to school. Our safety measures are in place with lots of reminders about masks, physical distancing and hand hygiene. The superintendent says we are ready to go and clearly some of the students that are arriving here today are also up bright and early ready for their in person school day. So these students here with the year round are returning this week. Traditional schools in Elk Grove for the younger grades will uh, return next week and then it's the older kids in high school that will likely be back sometime in April. Reporting live here in Elk Grove, Leticia Wardez, KCRA 3 News.